Hello, I'm Robin Mirkel from Ten Chamber Studios and we're working on a new heist game. Hallo, herzlich willkommen. Wir sind bei der Gamescom. Heute Ende, erster Tag, nullter Tag, wie auch immer. Und ich habe einen wunderbaren Gast mitgebracht, der uns gleich etwas erzählt. So, who are you and what are you working on? I'm Robin Mirkel from Ten Chamber Studio. They're throwing this party right now. Uh, we have one game out already. It's been out for over three years now, called GTFO, but we're also currently working on a new heist game. All right, so how was your working on GTFO? Was it your first game? First game as a studio, yes, but Ten Chambers is founded by very like uh, a couple of very veteran uh, developers. It's founded by Ulf Anderson, that was the game designer behind Payday One and Two, uh, and some of his friend, uh, some of his friends. But yes, it was the first game as a studio, but they've been releasing a bunch of games for. We have people that have been working on Ghost Recon, Just Cause, Battlefield, Payday, obviously. Um, so yeah, but the first game released as uh, our studio that we founded in 2015. Uh, so released GTFO in early access in 2019. Uh, I'm trying to remember everything correct, but yeah, that's... Uh, so yeah, first game as, uh, as, a, as a Ten Chamber studio. Uh, so yeah, GTFO has been in development pretty much in over seven years now. We've been continuously releasing new content for it for free. So what we're working on now is kind of finishing up the story of GTFO, like ending that arc, um, which we will be, we're gonna release two big updates to GTFO. Uh, and the last one of those will like wrap up the, the story in a kind of dark way, but very GTFO way. It's a hardcore game intended for that kind of audience. So I guess, I hope people will be very pleased with how, how we finish that. So, uh, and then we can start really focusing on our next game, which I think you're probably more interested in. <laughs> well, I, I still have a question about yeah, the yeah, GTA. Sure, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah, you said two more updates. Will you will that be the the last ones? And you, after that, you will just focus on the new game? Uh, yeah, pretty much. We'll not, we will not. We don't have any planned content updates of GTA 4 after that. Uh, and then you can never stop us, you know, it's GTA 4 has always been a passion project for us. It was the first game and it, when we started working on it, it was really like, this is the game we want to play. It's really made, uh, we didn't, pretty much didn't care about like, is there even a market for this game? Because we did a very hardcore game, very niche. Uh, so you can, you, I'm not promising anything, but you don't know in 10 years, maybe we want to do like some anniversary update, I don't know. but. No more content is planned after the last update. That will be end of this year. Uh, but it will. The game will after that. It will have uh, about 90 levels, and the levels are very hard. They take like hours to to finish. So, in terms of content, the game will be fucking massive. You know, but I don't know any bigger co-op games, but I'm not gonna say it's the biggest, but should be up there. It's super. So it's never been a better time to get into the game which is pretty funny All right sounds great so what was one of the favorite things about gtfo for you i'm, I'm very into that the, the hardcore games it doesn't hold your hand there's no waypoints like you're just thrown into the game favorite thing for me is actually when you we start the game which i can find out like a, I work with communications for the game, so it's pretty funny that I realized like a couple of months after we, we released the game, you know, you don't even see the GTFO logo and we're in the game. You don't see our logo anywhere. Uh, the game kind of just, you boot it up and just throws you directly into the game, which I think is, uh, might be a small thing for many, but I think that's very cool. And that it then doesn't hold your hand. It, it respects the gamer. Like we, we trust the, the, the gamer to be able to, find out what to do without you know have this the classic you know a radio connection telling you everything like oh go go left go right here placing a fat waypoint you're all like you're, you're almost not playing anything you know in g4 you're kind of you're you're the director of the game because it's like you're here now we're not giving you any waypoints you need to look at the walls to see where you are orient where you are yourself communicate a lot with uh, with your friends you're playing with like how how are we gonna get the fuck out of here basically you know so sounds great it's great 
Uh, so about the new game, what yeah. what strength will you take from the last game and take it, bring it to the new game, and what? Uh, it is uh, very different from GT4 because it's, it will be a heist game, uh, which felt pretty natural for us to go through. I mean, Ulf Anderson, the founder of the studio, was the game designer behind Payday One and Two. We have many other people at the studio that worked on the Payday games, but it will be very different from Payday as well, while being heist. Um, guess what we're taking from GTFO? Maybe we know <laughs> we know how hardcore we can go, uh, and we know that this uh, or next game will not be as hardcore and niche. It will have a bit of a broader appeal. Um, it's, it's hard to say. Like, well, we're, of course, we have a bunch of learnings. Uh, we're, we're we're developing the game in the same engine, Unity. Uh, so we obviously have a, like a lot of technical learnings on how to. Uh, how to work with Unity in the best way. I mean, there will be some, probably like, you know, co cooperative mechanics we're very into. Like, we are we only work with cooperative games. Mm -hmm. So obviously, and G4 is a very hardcore cooperative game. And while not being as hardcore as G4, it will still be extremely cooperative game. Like, we, we don't want to make a cooperative game where you, like, you know, you play with your game some, with your friends some games. And they, you know, it's only one that needs to do everything, you know. The sort of other ones are just following one lead. In G4, everyone has a purpose, you know, you need to start communicating in the loadout already, like, oh, you're bringing the glue gun, then I'll, I'll, uh, uh, I'll bring this, you know, you must like tactically plan the best, the best loadout and team. And I guess we're bringing sort of that co-op co style into the next game as well. Everyone will have a purpose in the team. So, yeah. So to ensure the, that everyone has a purpose, will you rely on like classes? Will you rely on tech trees or skill trees or what? What is it? Uh, we I, I can't share too much detail, detail about that right now. Sorry, but uh, <laughs> we will have more out of this game later this year. But right now I can't share anything about that, unfortunately. Specifically, uh, what I can say is uh, it is a co-op FPS heist game set in a sort of a techno thriller near future so think like in 70 years ahead kind of 70 years ahead but in a very what i like about it what excites me work with it is like it it will be allowed to have a very serious tone in it um like it it will not be any satire stuff like that will, we will allow the game to be very serious seriously and dark toned near future I think like a Blade Runner is an obvious inspiration um, uh, which <laughs> excites me a lot and I can't wait to share it visually as well but it, so it, it really stands out in in the setting it is in uh, I know a lot of people will obviously say like oh pay pay it because the founders worked on payday one and two uh, and it shares that it is a heist game but it's uh, it's very different in the especially in the setting, what type of heist you will do, uh, and stuff like that. So, uh, and the world will be, we're, we're building that it will take place in. It's, uh, it's very cool. Uh, and I <laughs> so, you said like Blade Runner inspired. Will it be a cyberpunk game or will it? Like, that's why I'm shying away a bit from using cyberpunk. Like obviously, We've had the same inspiration as Cy not like saying we're inspired by cyberpunk, but cyberpunk is inspired by yeah. the same kind of books we've read and, and 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 board games we played and stuff like that. I mean, I love cyberpunk. It's, I think it's a very cool world, but for me, it's not. Maybe it's not a believable future, if you get what I mean. Yeah. This game is more like when I see this, it's like, oh shit, the world could look like this in 70 years. Could be this dark. So it's trying to build this believable near future world. Uh, you could call it cyberpunk, but like when I play cyberpunk, I love it. But I don't think like oh, this. This feels like it will be in the future. You know what I mean? I don't feel. I don't believe that will be the future. Luckily, uh, while we may be trying to actually create a world that is actually believable. Like okay, it is like because I don't think the world will be massively different in seven years from like how we live. I think. Could miss it will uh, look almost the same, you know, but it will be this much more high technology stuff, right? So that's kind of the game. It will be 
maybe the world doesn't look super different. It's like it's a mega city, but the day-to-day -day stuff isn't very different, but there is very high technology and how that has developed and how that will be used um, in the game in the highest as well. That's what I think really stands out for the game. It's very cool. Um, and about the gameplay, since you mentioned like payday, will there also be like the different ways to get into the heist? Will or will you always rely on stealth, or will there be like blunt force? We will be without going into too much detail. It will be very a lot of different ways. And for us, it's player agency is very important. Like we want you to control what is happening in the game, not like you need to do this heist in this way. It's you are the kind of you're the director of your play session. So you will have many uh, different ways of tackling tackling a challenge. That is very important for us. What I know, uh, Ulf felt uh, while looking back at Payday, the Payday games, Payday 1 and 2. Uh, I haven't played Payday 3 yet, but it looks great. Uh, but Payday 2 had kind of like, you know, you could do stealth, but as soon as you you get exposed, yeah. it was full, uh, full on action you know, until the end. Either you die or you kill everyone, you know. We want to build a more of a drama curve similar to GTA 4 actually, so you could take one of the learnings from GTA 4 where in GTA 4 you can, it's full stealth, then you wake up the monsters by a mistake, but you can still contain the situation if you quickly kill some of the monsters so you don't wake up the other ones, you know, so then they goes back to stealth again, you know. Uh, so, that's one of the learnings we take with us to the next game so that is very important for us to like shouldn't only be like oh no it's stealth oh no it's action until you die you uh, should be able to control that situation you know when do you do you think you can like officially announce the game because right now it's an unannounced heist game when will you yeah, give us a name later this year it's planned and we uh we what i like as well we as a studio we try to really manage the expectations uh like if I could show you something now that I know like this will represent the actual gameplay you will have, I would probably do it. Uh, but by the end of the year we will be able to to reveal a name, hopefully. And uh, that's what that's our plan, but you know, plans to fuck up in gaming. Uh, but that's our aim to have a some sometime this year uh, reveal the name. Which I'm very excited for. I even think I even think the, the name is very cool, uh, and show something visually of the game. And of course, be more specific and not as confusing as I've been with you <laughs> about the game. So yeah, let's meet again. Oh uh, yeah, later this year. I'll, I'll, that's that's our plan. To, cool. To, to I'll come over to you more. Yeah, yeah. I'll come, come over, over to visit the studio. Our, well, yeah, come over and visit our studio in in, in Stockholm for sure. Yeah. Cool. All right. Looking You're forward to it. To so, um, story-wise, can you tell us about a bit? Uh, will you in include a, a big story content, or will be like a like environmental a, storytelling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say environmental storytelling. Story is very important in the game, and like every heist will have a meaning in that story. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Story is <laughs> without saying too much. Story is a big part of it. It's not like senseless heisting and robbing. Uh, so yeah, I'm very very excited to share this story as well, which goes in the same, like what I said, it's a very serious tone of the game, dark, grimy future, and the story goes in that kind of tone as well. <laughs> and uh, if uh, if it hits off, like uh, like all the people love it to bits, and they they want more, will you deliver more, or is it like that's it, just this one version, or will you deliver more know. DLCs? They, they will get more. I'm not saying especially how that content will be delivered, but it's our aim is to work with it for a, for a long time. It's not a one-off like standalone game, no. Like GT4 was. GT4 was always intended to be like this hardcore love letter to the to that type of gamers, the old that likes the old school games, you know. So that's why it also feels very nice to leave GT4 in that like dignified way. But this this game is designed in a totally different way right. to support a more of a live service game or whatever you call it you know there's so many different titles people put in that type of game but yeah it's 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 not meant as a one-off 
like here is all the content that will be in the game now. It will be expandable, yeah. Do you think about microtransactions? And if yes, what do you think about them? Uh, to be totally honest, we have we have we haven't decided exactly on all the type of monetization the game will have. But what I can say, it will never it will not be like a pay to win type of microtransaction. If that would be the case, it would be probably like purely cosmetic. Uh, we're very like clear on that, everyone. Uh, it will, not, it will not be that type of microtransactions. You will, you will not be able to like pay your, yourself out of. Uh, and since most like multiplayer games struggle with uh, like a player base, yeah. do you think about like do releasing it as a free-to-play and no, use the microtransactions, or is it a premium no, game? A premium game. Okay. It will and not be free-to-play now. And maximum four players in a co-op lobby. It's an interesting question because we're talking a lot about that, like. I say it's for play co-op just by like because I've said that with GTFO time, but it's more like again can't share too much data without promising too much. But yeah, sure. it will be possible to our aim is to you you will you will not always need four players like so. more fluid if you want to say it like that should be able to play with one of your friends to but. You will be able to play four play co, but it also should be more accessible to play also less than four people. Is our aim? And would you consider like doing like super heist, where there are like four teams of four people doing the same heist from different angles? Sounds like a cool, cool, <laughs> a very cool idea. But uh, I can't, I can't go into that detail now. I like the idea, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, so. Is there something that you can tell me what is your favorite feature of the current game? For me it's the setting and that it's a game that dares to be serious. I think in gaming in general, you know, you even if you some games build this very cool, impressive world, I feel they sometimes they like feel a need to make fun of it as well, you know, there you see some brand on a wall and it's like a spin up, they're making fun of some real life brand, you know. They, yeah. they feel like, oh, we're a game, we can't be too serious, can't be too dark. Uh, so that's what excites me about. Like, it's a game that dares to be serious, have a dark, grimy tone. Uh, I mean, a lot, of, uh, a lot of movies have it, you know, heist movies like Heat, for example. Uh, so why, why not games, you know? So. That excites me. So, will you draw inspiration from like heist movies, Clue 2, or something else? I mean, Wolf and Simon's favorite movie is like Heat, so it's, it's an obvious. They're also fans of Blade Runner. So there is, there is definitely like inspiration in some ways. Uh, Heat and Blade Runner are two favorite movies, so. All right, then. Thank you for your time. Thank uh, you. It was nice uh, having talk, uh, having spent time with you uh, for the interview. And then, vielen Dank. Ciao. By the way, what is uh, like you were from Stockholm, right? Yeah. Stockholm, what is good, goodbye in Swedish? Good wine. Goodbye. Ah, goodbye. Hej då. Okay. Hej då. Nixon. Hej då. Hej då. Thanks. Thank you. Für mehr Reviews zu Indie-Games oder anderen Spielen lasst mir hier gerne einen Sub da oder folgt mir auf Twitch, um mich live zu sehen. Ich freue mich auf euch.